Okay, so this is another lecture video for my PSIE students. <laughs> okay, so next topic after nung sa moral dilemmas is uh, the idea of freedom or the, the role of freedom in creating moral choices. Uh, as I have said previously, guys, no, important Yung, yung idea ng, ng freedom when making moral choices. Kasi if you're not free to do something, if you're not free or you don't have the ability to do something, then you're excused from that moral choice. No? You only have the moral responsibility once you have the, the free will or the free choice to do something about it. Okay? Parang, paano mo mahuhold na morally responsible lang isang tao sa isang bagay na wala naman siyang kaya gawin no, dun sa bagay na yun. Okay. So, what we'll discuss, one contributor or theorist or ethicist that we'll discuss is Immanuel Kant, a German philosopher during the Age of Enlightenment. Uh, this is during a during the modern period where in reason no yung, yung, what's what's reason reason is our capability to think no our capability to be conscious uh, rational beings no and our capable to make decisions no and evaluate those decisions no? so yung modern period ito yung time na reason was put into a pedestal no na from from the medieval period wherein you have the author the authority is on religion the authority is on 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 the clergy you know whatever the church says especially the roman catholic roman catholic church whatever the church says that's what's considered as right so nagkaroon ng shift to to modern period and the modern period has put so much emphasis on man's ability to think okay man's ability to to use his or her own mind in making in making everything no ito yung time na sobrang daming mga na discover daming sobrang mga naging uh, discoveries in science and daming mga inventions in science ganun kasi people are encouraged to use their minds no to make their lives easier no? sabi nga it's called anthropocentric no the center the focus is on anthropo human beings no the focus is on how to how to make human lives easier no through reason okay so kant kant's focus is sobrang laki ng contributions niya sa sa philosophy so yung focus niya is not just on just not just on one field no uh he, he's also on the field yeah, of metaphysics epistemology aesthetics but of course because our subject is ethics <laughs> we'll focus dun sa ethics so ang tawag dun sa ethics niya is deontological ethics at ang focus ng deontological ethics niya is what we call as categorical imperative we will discuss these these terms later in no, some susunod na slides okay so according to kant to act freely is to act autonomously independently another term for autonomous is being independent to act in accordance to the law that i might i have put unto myself no na hindi i will act because this is my own decision this is my own conscious choice it's not something that has just been influenced to me from the outside gagawin ko ang isang bagay because i ako yung nag-decide noon hindi dahil merong ibang nag-influence sa akin na 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 gawin yon okay. ibig sabihin i used my own reason my own thinking my own consciousness my own mind in making this decision okay and when and according to Kant, when you make your own decision using your own mind, using your own reason, okay, at him, and you're not a slave to something else, then that is what makes it moral. Okay. So you are not free, you are not free if you're not acting independently. No, pag nakadepende ka sa ibang bagay, katulad ng yun, loss of nature, demands of social convention, katulad ng um, 
nyari um, penyebab. Hmm. One example is I ano nyari bibili ako ng ganitong bagay or bibili ako ng ganitong ganitong cellphone at say bibili ako ng ganitong cellphone kasi ito yung uso ngayon. Okay. Ibig sabihin, you're doing that choice not because you think that is what is right or that is what's reasonable. You're you're making that choice because you you are conforming to the society. Okay. Or the pursuit of pleasure and comfort. Okay. Yung uh ano ba? Okay, I, I have this example. Um for example, nag nag pinakaaway ka. Let's say jowa mo. Ay hindi. Wag na lang, wag na lang kaya. <laughs> okay, kaya may magjowa na na, na mag nagkaaway. Let's say nag-cheat si nag-cheat si girl kay boy. Siya pa nagkaroon siya. Kaya nagkaroon siya ng ibang lalaki. Kasi stereotype, the stereotype na lalaki daw yung usually ni cheat. So let's try to deviate from the from the stereotype. Stereotype lang naman eh. First yung general lang naman, hindi naman laging and talaga, not always na ganito. So, so let's say, kanyari nag-away sila because of the cheating. Okay. Because of the cheating. Tapos, sa pag-away nila, sinabi ni, tinawag ni boy, si girl na, hayop ka. Ganyan. Minura. Diba? Bigat nun. Ngayon, if you, if you say to someone na hayop ka, it depends on the context, right? Ako minsan yung mga tropa ko, <laughs> sasabihan ko na yung hype ka, ganyan. Pero wala lang yun, okay? That's, ano lang yun, parang trip-trip lang namin yun. Tapos, and they, they know naman that I don't entirely mean it, no? But if it's something serious, diba? If it's, if it's already a different context, no? Mas heavy na context. Parang may bigat yung term na hayop ka, diba? Why? Kasi, Pag sinabihan ka ng hayop ka, ibig sabihin, hindi mo ginamit yung pagiging tao mo. Yung pagiging tao mo, ano yung pagiging tao mo? It means you you think. Kapag sinabihan ka ng hayop or animal ka, ganyan, ibig sabihin, hindi mo ni-utilize yung, yung part ng pagiging human being mo, which is your capability to think. Perhaps you did it. You did it because, you know, animal instinct. You have your, nyari yung sa cheating. You have your libido. So you've been a slave. You have been a slave to your, to your animal instincts. No, you did not think. You did not use your consciousness. You did not use your mind. No, in making a moral choice on that particular situation. So parang ganon. Uh, that's why you can't put reason no, on a pedestal kasi when 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 you use reason for him no you you are not a slave to your to your instincts you're not a slave to your emotions no what you use is purely thinking meron nga siyang work yan tawag is critic of pure reason okay so i hope you're you're getting me <laughs> i hope i hope you could follow but, but anyway if you have questions or clarifications of course you can you can chat me okay if mom di ko po magets yung part na to okay mas ano mas okay no kasi eto medyo binibilisan ko actually guys recorded kasi <laughs> anyway so yon and then according to kant no to act freely is not simply to choose a means. When you say means, paraan, way. Way mo lang siya towards a certain end, towards a certain goal or objective. So, if you will only be considered free kapag gumagawa ka ng mga bagay na for its own sake, no? Not, not because it is a means towards an end. Not because paraan lang siya towards a different goal. No? Let's say... And one example, one best example ko dito is yung sa, I think you guys, most of you guys have watched the film Three Idiots. Right? Sobrang sikat nun. If you still haven't watched it, guys, panoorin nyo. <laughs> Matagal siya. I think it's a three-hour film, but it's so entertaining. It's fun. It's cute. And there are a lot of 
moral re- moral lessons done kind of so but i think a lot of us you know, have watched it baka nga yung iba pa ulit ulit pa okay so you will notice there the way so kung di mo pa napapanood sorry counting spoiler <laughs> yung 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 bida doon di ba si Rancho he's so into studying he loves studying engineering kasi he loves engineering uh nag-aaral siya for the sake of the knowledge itself okay not for the sake of the diploma di ba unlike nung mga ibang characters doon no? di ba parang yung pag-aaral ng engineering nila is just their own way no to be successful in life kasi gusto nila ng ng stable na job gusto nila ng I think there's some there's a certain pressure in the society of India eh, lalo sa mga lalaki no, na uh, dapat yumaman sila ganyan and they it seems like they can they can achieve that no by being engineers no ganun. so so doon sa three idiots diba si Rancho he's different he's different kasi he loves engineering and he's choosing engineering or yung pag-aaral for its own sake not for the sake of anything else diba yung pag pinapalabas daw pag pinapalabas siya punta pa rin siya sa ibang punta pa rin siya sa ibang classroom ang katuwiran niya is knowledge is knowledge eh. kahit na pang first year pa lang ako pang fourth year na yan ano pa rin knowledge is knowledge <laughs> okay so how many of us would do that diba kunyari hindi pa covid-19 pandemic classroom face to face discussion pa rin tayo pag pinalabas ko kayo although hindi ako nagpapalabas <laughs> Kasi magkakantin lang kayo, baka masaya pa kayo pag pinalabas ko eh. <laughs> Pero pag, pag pinalabas ko kayo sa klase, how many of you would try to sneak into other classes? Kasi ang katwiran ninyo, ay gusto kong matuto. Di ba? Parang, hmm? Di ba? Punta na ako ng ano, punta na ako kina mami, you know, bilyar na. <laughs> no, yes. So, kasi for us including me ah, including me you no know, we do things ako nag ako so totoo lang ang tawag ko nga sa tawag ko nga sa pagmamaster ko pangbigas eh <laughs> kasi ginagawa ko siya for economic reasons no kasi gusto kong tumaas yung sahod ko gusto kong tumaas yung rank ko kaya ako nag-aaral no pero kung hindi ko kailangan mag-aral yung mag-aaral <laughs> i think I'm just uh, sorry. I'm just being honest. That I think that's 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 what many of us do. Hindi ko ilalahat kasi, sure, di naman dapat din generalize lahat ng bagay. Pero but I think that many of us, you no, know, including me, you know, do in 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 studying. You no, know, we we look at education as a means to as a, as a way for us to have flourishing, successful lives. We use education as, as, for, for economic pursuits, you know, not for the sake of being educated itself. You know. We we study not for the sake of studying. We study because it is a way towards a different goal. Ito yung paraan natin, kasi may iba tayong goal. Okay. So according to Kant, that's not free. You no, know, for Kant, that's not. That's not moral. No. Para sa kanya, you have to do something. You have to choose something for its own sake, and that is what makes it moral. That is what makes it good. That is what that is what makes you a free person. You know, when you do something for for its own sake, not for the sake of anything else. Okay. Parang when I discussed philosophy to you, no, yung children, yung mga bata, di ba? They ask question, di ba mga bata? Mami, where do babies come from? <laughs> yeah, yung, yung mga questions nila na parang nakaguluntang. Hindi huh? ko alam. <laughs> Anong klaseng tanong yan? Di ba? Parang yung, ano, yung ganun. Tos, and then we, we shrug them off na, malalaman mo rin yan pagtanda mo. Kaya, huy, huwag mong tanong ng ganyan. Basos yan, ganyan, ganyan. But yung kids, no, yung mga bata, if you have this, you have three, four-year-old na mga pamangkin or kapatid or whatever, di ba? they ask questions not for the sake of anything else. No, They ask questions hindi dahil gusto ko nilang ipahiya. They ask questions hindi dahil may iba silang goal. They just ask questions because they just 
want to know, no? Sobrang pure nung, nung reason nila. Sobrang pure nung wonder nila. So, parang ganun din yung sinasabi ni Kant. No? Na, kaya nga, yung work niya is about pure reason, eh. No? Na, you do something, no? and that is what makes it moral, no? You do something for its own sake, not for the sake of anything else. And that's the only time that you are free and moral in doing something. You know, when you do it, not because you are you are being pressured by society, you are doing it not because you are a slave to, to your emotions or to your to your to your own instincts. You do it because you have you think it is what is reasonable to do. Okay. So yeah. Okay, so to act freely is to choose the end itself for its own sake. And when you act freely, that's when you act morally. Okay. Why? Because when you act morally or when you act using your own mind, that is what makes you dignified. You know? That is some kasi yung reason mo, yung capability mo na mag isip yung capability mo na mag-rationalize, that is what makes you separate from animals. No? Di ba yung mga, yun yung mga aso, mag, ano yun, magpapatungan na lang yun kahit san, kahit san dyan, di ba? Makikita mo, hinahump na ng isang aso, yung isang aso. Di ba? So parang, but, but, yung yung dignity and respect mo pag tao gumawa nun, di ba parang eh, <laughs> exhibition is huy pahuli mo yan di ba? Parang, di ba? so our reason our capability to think is is what separates us from animals it our reason is what makes us human okay so if you don't utilize your reason then what are you? <laughs> Parang ganun yung ini-imply ni, ni Emmanuel Kant. Lagi ko sinisisi si Kant eh, no? Pero <laughs> ako, sa bibig ko nang gagaling eh. But anyway, okay. So yun. But, and then, this respect, and, sorry, y- yung idea ng respect na yun, no, should be applied, no, when you treat others, no. When you treat, when you treat other people as a means, yan, no. Kunyari, so, yun, sa politics, marami yan eh. No? Uy, kakaibigan, magninong ako sa kasal ni gantong kumpare ko kasi ano siya, para pag nag, ano, may connection ako sa kanila. Uy, pre, inaanak ko naman yung ano mo, inaanak mo eh, pagbigyan mo na ako sa ganda. So, yung ganun na parang, yung ganung idea na gagawin mo yung isang bagay or ititreat mo yung isang tao as a tool no? or as an, as an instrument, as a means, no? as an instrument towards a, towards another goal, you're not respecting him or her. Parang, uy, kaibigan ko si ganito kasi ano yan, eh, maraming, maraming papel para pag may quiz kami, lagi akong may kape, tropa kami. Eh. So, ginagamit mo lang, use user ka, basically. Okay. That means you are not pursuing that person you know, for the sake of of friendship or for the sake of just for the yeah, parang gusto mo lang ng, ng another person to communicate to connect with ganun okay so that's you are disrespecting that person daw, daw according to Kant you know, if that's if you use him or her as a means or as an instrument as a tool towards another end okay you can only act morally okay if you can only act morally you can only act um as a human being freely you know, when you do or treat others with certain respect and dignity that they deserve as a human being okay. again guys if you have questions okay. you can chat me or pwede kayong mag ano doon mag post doon sa google classroom ng questions doon tayo mag discuss sa gutan doon di ba parang parang sa facebook yung parang stream Ano Trip ko yun. Goods yun. Okay. okay, so si Kant, meron siyang dalawang klase ng imperatives. Pero um, mas nag-focus siya dun sa categorical imperative. Ang sabi niya, ang hindi maganda for him eh, is, okay, is the hy- hypothetical imperative. Kasi ang hypothetical imperative uses instrumental reason. 
if I want x, then I must do y. Ibig sabihin, instrument mo lang yung y para ma-achieve ma mo yung x. Kaya siya instrumental reason. Kaya siya hypothetical kasi may condition lagi. Ayan, it's always conditional. No? Lagi kang may hypothesis. If ganito, then ganito. No? Kung gusto ko ng kung gusto ko ng connection no pag after some time no, sa politika then ito yung gagawin ko ngayon so may hypothesis ka no na if x no then why parang mat lang yun okay. and if i want to stay out of jail then i must be a good citizen ibig sabihin nagpapaka good citizen ka lang kasi ayaw mo mapunta sa sa kulungan paano kung wala nang kulungan Paano kung wala ng pulis? Magpapakaayos ka pa rin ba na as, as, as a citizen, of, as a Filipino? Parang, kaya ka hindi natawid. Kaya ka hindi nag-jaywalking. Kasi may nakabantay. Di ba? May, may manghuhuli. Paano kung wala nang manghuhuli? Would you still do the right thing na wag mag-jaywalking? Mag-overpass ka ba? Or mag-underpass ka ba? Mag gagawin magpapaka-effort ka pa rin ba? Kasi yun yung tama. Or, kaya mo lang siya ginagawa kasi, kaya mo lang, kaya ka lang nag-overpass, kaya mo lang ginagawa yung tama dahil may iba kang goal. No? Hindi mo ginagawa yung tama for the sake of dahil tama siya. Ginagawa mo lang siya dahil may iba kang goal. Ayaw mo lang mahuli. No? Pero actually, kung wala naman mahuli, hindi mo nagagawin yan. Di ba? Ayan, so the action is only good, no? It's only good kasi instrument mo nga lang siya towards another end. So that's the hypothetical imperative. Ayaw ni Kant ng gano'n. It is yun. It's opposed to categorical imperative. Ang categorical imperative, non-conditional. The action, yung principle ng action mismo is good. Kahit ano pang klase ng maging resort niya. Kahit anong klase pa ng consequences okay. Parang, pag nagnakaw, kanyari si Robin Hood, di ba? Yung, yung situation ni Robin Hood na nagnanakaw siya kasi, kasi yung, yung nilanakaw niya sa mga mayayaman daw is a uh, pinamimigay niya sa mga may hirap. Okay. According to Kant, let's not look at the consequences. Simply, the act of pagnanakaw is not good by itself. Yung principle lang ng pagnanakaw is regardless kung ano pang reason niya, bakit niya ginagawa yan, regardless kung ano pa yung magiging result niya. But the action of stealing is something na hindi maganda. So therefore, it, it's not, it's immoral. Okay. So, Kay Kant, no, you should not look at the consequences. You should not look at the goal. Just look at the principle. Just look at the form you know, of the action. Is it good by itself or not? Okay. Ayan, concerned with form and principle, not results. No? Sabi, yung categorical imperative, act only on that maxim whereby you can at the same time will that it should become a universal law. Ano ibig sabihin nito? Ibig sabihin, ginagawa mo yung isang bagay na whoever, sino man yung mapunta dyan sa sitwasyon mo na yan. You know? Dahil, kunyari, ang principle nung ano, principle nung sa pagnanakaw, say, kahit sino pa man yung mapunta dyan sa sitwasyon na yan, hindi magbabago yung, yung goodness or rightness you know, nung, nung action you know, or yung wrongness or badness nung isang action na whoever kanyari ito yung ito yung reasonable no kasi para kay kay kan kasi ang reason standard yan eh okay eh, hindi yan nagbabago okay kasi kapag nakabase ka sa consequences sa result pabago-bago kasi depende sa magiging result eh di ba depende sa magiging consequences but if you just use pure reason hindi nagbabago yan so, kahit sino yung mapunta sa situation mo na yun, the reason would stay the same. It would become universal. No? It would become a universal law. So, gawin mo yung bagay na pag kahit, kahit hindi ikaw yung napunta dyan sa situation na yan, kahit, kahit hindi ikaw yan, may ibang tao na mapunta dyan, 
Pero hindi magbabago kung ano yung tama. No? Then that is what we should do. Okay? Are you following me? I hope you're following me. I'm not sure if I'm explaining this ng comprehensive, no, ng talagang naiintindihan ninyo. Hopefully. But again, guys, no, if, if you have questions, no, kasi medyo complicated itong, complicated to si, si, ano, si Kante, yung morality na ito, ng part na ito. Eh. If you have clarification sa, you ask me, okay, mas maganda na, mas maganda kung maiintindihan ninyo talaga yung principle, no, yung, yung concept Okay. Ang ethics kasi is more on concept. Eh. It's less on memorization. No? It's more on abstract reasoning. Eh. Okay. So, kung, ano, syempre may mga parts para na may mga terminologies na kailangan pa rin ninyong memorize ano yung sabihin ng term na to, ganyan. But it's more on, more, yan, more on abstract reasoning siya. Eh. So, hopefully you're, you're comprehending this. So, yeah. so, tuloy tayo. Okay. Act in such a way that you always treat humanity, whether in your own person or in the person of any other, not simply as a means, not as an instrument, not as a tool, but at the same time as an end. You, you treat other persons, even yourself, not as a tool, not as an instrument. But when you pursue a person, you pursue him or her. For his or her own sake, okay. Yeah, yung ano, hindi yung ano, eh. yung jojo ay toto pa ay na ibang sa pa na yun. <laughs> okay. So the role of freedom and morality, ethics. The study of ethics is the cultivation of virtue, the development of character traits. So the choosing the good becomes a matter of habit. Kaya nga di ba nung dinefine natin yung ethics, it's a habit, a custom, no? character because we we want to set a certain standard we want to set a certain norm no a certain norm in our character so that when we choose goodness no this is something that we would always choose no okay. freedom is the power rooted in reason and will to act or not to act to do and to perform deliberate actions on one's own responsibility you are if you're free then you are responsible you know they go hand in hand freedom equates to responsibility you cannot say that you are free to do something without being responsible for it okay it it holds you accountable it holds you responsible when you make a moral choice you know, pag pinapili ka anak mo o limang bata sino pipiliin mong i-save kunyari this a trolley problem. Pag pumili ka dun, no, because you have the freedom to choose, then whatever you choose, you are culpable for that. You are accountable for that. Okay. Just a quick question. If man does good but not freely, was his action really moral? Paano kung it's just a matter of coincidence lang? A person chose to be good kasi... Nagkataon lang. Hindi dahil, hindi dahil it's a product of his or her own um, consciousness. Ano lang to? Parang mind, ano ba to? Mind puzzling question lang kay Nicole Kikan. Was it actually, um, was it actually moral if it's not a product of his own reason but just a matter of luck? Di ba? Hmm? Okay, so human acts versus acts of humans. Di differentiate, di differentiate lang to sa ethics, kasi may mga bagay, may mga actions tayo na does not necessarily utilize free will or does not utilize our own consciousness, kasi ano siya, parang biological na yung human acts, yun yung voluntary acts na. No? You use your consciousness, you use your mind you know, in these actions. But acts of humans are natural acts, like breathing. Diba? Hindi mo naka-questionin ang morality kung dapat ka bang huminga o hindi. <laughs> kasi, kasi natural siya. May kailangan mo talaga siya. So you don't need your intellect or like, kapag kain, diba? or 
pagpupo, ganyan. You know? Those are already natural acts. No? Those are acts of humans. And they don't necessarily they don't necessarily interact with with morality. Ganyan. Kasi they, they're involuntary acts na sila. Unlike human acts, no? human acts are the focus of of ethics, of the study of morality, because these are the ones that you can evaluate. Eh. Yun yung, yun yung pwede mong i, pwede mong pag-isipan eh. Pero kung hindi mo na kailangan pag-isipan yung isang bagay, eh, di ba? <laughs> it's, it's not really a question of, of ethical um, conundrum. So, ayun, yun lang, so is the reference. <laughs> So on the next part, okay. So I'm going to create yeah, yung last video yung would be about culture. Um, yun yung last na video na panoorin yung guys. Nang hindi ko siya mal lecture ng live sa inyo because naghahabol tayo ng oras. I have to, I have to follow the schedule of the syllabus. So. Uh, again, if you have questions on these three topics, yung sa moral dilemmas, itong kay Kant, at saka yung, yun, yung, yung isa ko pang gagawin sa culture, just, you can chat me, or dun sa, sa Google Classroom natin, you can post questions there. So, ayan. Thank you.